how you doing? This is Phil Dreis. Today is the 12th of April 2012, and I'm right here at the Civil Courthouse where I just got Stephen Wildtrop. He's up there on the fourth floor, and I'm here at the Civil Courthouse. He just gave me the sir reply and the judgment in order for me to be able to prove that Judge Marino Rezos <laughs> plagiarized the document. So all you morons out there, that means she copied what they put and those things, when you look at the evidence or the exhibits behind what they put, it's full of perjuries or it's incomplete or inconsistent and oh, they screwed up and damn, now we add all of that, the complete 33 page of the letter to the president and then when we have it complete and, and bound and got five copies to go to the U.S. Attorney General because a, 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 a civil court a landlord tenant judge and in part, uh, I think it's part A in Queens County Civil Court cannot help New York City Housing Authority circumvent federal law by denying the administrative process to the people that come in a whole of a proceeding. The first thing that um, the judge should ask in a whole other proceeding for a NYCHA tenant is did they get a copy of the administrative process and I've got tens of thousands in every, every single county in Queens, in every borough, in Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, everywhere, guess what? Bloomberg administration, you making me feel real good. How's homelessness for me doing for you? <laughs> Man, Bloomberg, you can't be that much of a genius and that freaking stupid to pick on me. I'm a sibling of Haitian aristocrats. I'm not some poor freaking nigger anywhere. I didn't live in the project. We, we didn't ask to be in the project. Y'all bought that building after and it was supposed to be a $15,000 buyout. That was 20 years ago. Right now it's about $40,000 to, to have taken that apartment from me. You didn't want to pay. You don't have to pay me now, but you're going to pay me later. You're going to pay a whole lot more. It's like a freaking mortgage. So guess what? I'm enjoying homelessness. The new season is coming out. And guess what? <laughs> Hallelujah! Come on now! We're back in regular season and it's a beautiful thing. Right here, civil court. I just got the paperwork. Now we've got a clean sweep because the whole idea of the redlining is to be able to prove how do you make it legal for what they've gotten away so long. It's because you've got a judge. You've got five judges and five exclusive NYCHA court, special court that any NYCHA brought matter is taken to a Judge Maria Resource upstairs. Nice, beautiful, nice looking Puerto Rican lady. I think she wants to have my baby, but it ain't gonna happen unless it's by immaculate conception after I die. Because judge, what I'm saying is that you're helping railroad your own cop. You might be some light-skinned Negro, but that don't take you away from the whole Negro category, judge. Alright? You should have had a little bit more empathy, and you should, have, you should have done something. Especially when you had enough evidence that my case should have been dismissed on numerous occasions. Because of not getting consistencies, perjuries, or things that they violated. But getting rid of me was a big deal. Do you still think it's funny? Do you still think it's a big deal? I think it's a big deal. I think it's a big deal. And guess what? That's my heart out to you though, baby. Mwah! Big kiss for you, Judge Maria Rachel, because that's as close to me as you'll ever get. Bye-bye.